Hello, we're back at the 12th fret with Gordon O'Brien and Alumbra guitars. Today we're going to discuss the several of the standard Alumbra cutaway models. There are about eight in the line if you want to dig deeper, but there are th uh, three predominant models that we carry. Model 3, which is a slightly shallower body, laminate mahogany back and sides, solid cedar top. Model 7, which is the professional model, most advanced pickup system. It's going to be either cypress back and sides to appeal to the flamenco players or rosewood back and sides to appeal to the more conventional players. A non-radius fingerboard, so they're going to feel like a conventional classical guitar, though they have narrowed down the nut to 48 millimeters, which gives you a little less material on the back and a narrower nut feel, so not quite as big a leap for a steel string player to move across. Classical players get used to them almost immediately, and, and I believe it's a variation on the three that you play, called the Thin Line 3, correct? Yeah. Yep. yeah. And you're using that plugged in most of the time, right? All of yeah. the time, yeah. yes. Now the, the, the Model 3 has a simple six brace pattern, six fans, two smaller fans down here. It's uh, designed around the basic Model 1 and Model 3 Alumbra non-cutaway. This is a much more sophisticated bracing pattern with seven fans and it's going to be a bigger sounding guitar. The one that you're playing though is set up flamenco, so it's you're going to be limited in your dynamic range, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, I specifically chose something that was a little snappier uh, to get a little something out of that because it is set lower than the action I would normally uh, choose, but it's very comfortable, very, very, very easy. And like you said, for guys that are switching over to uh, classical, it's a nice, uh, it's, a, it's a nice transition and a mm -hmm. nice feel. Now there's a, a third guitar in the series called the Zed Nature, or Zed Nature, and it's a new model with a minimalist finish, uh, what they call open pour. Uh, it's going to be cedar top, very simple uh, bracing pattern like the Model 3. And uh, interestingly, it's the only one they're making with a full-size classical neck. So it has full width, non-radius, and uh, a conventional contour on the back. It's a uh, roughly half the price of the professional model, but uh, for a lot of pro professional players, they're looking for a, a simple guitar that they don't have to care for, and this meets the bill. Some people feel the gloss finish restricts tone slightly, and by using a minimalist finish, they make the most out of the least with a guitar like this. So uh, There you go. Uh, yeah. And Save a few bucks if that's your preference. Yes. Yeah. The Alumbra Z Nature series with the open pour finish gives us a guitar that is reasonably priced, completely playable, and something that uh, somebody could use professionally if needs be, and uh, fills a very uh, useful price bracket. We're very pleased with these new guitars.